hello welcome back to another video so today it's actually a super quick one i wanted to just jump on and share with you my experience and first ever visit to farm foods by the way that tuna for 5.99 unbelievable price really good value for money um but i watched a youtuber a couple of weeks ago i think and they did a grocery haul and part of their grocery haul was from farm foods and i've i've heard and known of farm foods like you know my entire life but i've never been inside one i've never shopped in one so i thought i would take the camera along and first of all share with you what it's like in farm foods but also secondly my mum is always on the lookout for food deals to feed her large family so i thought if i document it then she can watch this and she'll be able to see what it's like in farm foods and if it's worth a visit you know for her to go as well there's not too many farm foods around us. I think a lot of them have closed down in recent years, which is a bit of a shame. So I travelled quite far <laughs> for this one, probably a bit too far just for the sake of filming for five minutes in the store. But I wanted to get it filmed and get it on camera so I can get it onto YouTube and share with you the deals that can be had and the prices that you can see and then save in future. Um, so the farm foods that I went to, I the parking was a plenty. Like there was about you know ten fifteen parking spaces available in the car park, so it was accessible. I walked through the door. The first thing that you are hit with is these huge pallets of like job not job lot items, but like um 24 pack of items so big cardboard boxes full of product on deals and then as you get kind of past that you really have to kind of hunt for the deals as well but if you get past that you are met with well the one that i was at you're met with the fresh fruit and vegetables quite a limited amount i'd say really good price on the pink ladies and the beetroot that was a good price but not too much on offer but I think it's because they focus like heavily on the frozen veggie and the frozen fruit because Farm Foods has about 20 freezers in the store. Um, so probably rely more on, you know, the frozen product side of that. So past the fruit and vegetables, you're then hit with all of the freezer aisles. And on top of the freezer aisles, this is where you find the little gem deals that are just unheard of. So they have all of these products kind of stacked up above the freezers. I will say there's not a lot of room in there, the one that I was at. It's quite small and compact and there's a lot of product that they shove on the shelves and kind of put it all together so everything's got its own spot but it's all like shoved together and feels a bit like chaotic on some of them you really have to kind of figure out which price table matches the product as well because it doesn't all line up um but yeah, they have just tons of amazing prices. They had like pasta sauce for 39p and boxes of pasta for 69p. Really, really good deals on the shelf. And then just underneath the shelf, they've got all of their like freezers full of different um, products. So like the puff pastry here was 99p. That is a really good price. £1.09 on the curry sauces. They had like sauces and dressings and things like that. Um, they were actually stuck in some of the freezers when I was there, which is why that trolley is there. But they did have a massive variety. There was a lot on offer and they had a lot of like their two for one or three for five. So as well as the cheap prices, there was also in-store promotion and deals as well, which was really good to see. I think what I think of farm foods, I mean, the Lloyd Graceman for a start, that I'm going back for this. Next time I go to that area, I'm going to pick up a Lloyd Graceman lasagna sauce, 79p for a branded product. You won't find that anywhere else. They had some new products as well. This Doritos hot salsa sauce for 2 99 but it was a massive squeezy bottle. And then the Sharwoods as well, they were 99p. But I think my thoughts on the whole shop itself, I probably will go back and get some, a few little like really special products that are really cheap prices prices if i'm in the area but in terms of shopping there it was quite dull and like dark and gloomy inside and there wasn't a lot of space um between the like freezers on the each aisle especially if there was like other people coming the other way it was quite tight in there for room um and i always think when i go shopping like asda audi tesco wherever i go uh, the supermarkets are like bright and open and like you know you you, you just kind of get like a nice I don't know like maybe it's when you hit them supermarkets and you see all the fresh flowers and the bakery and like it invites you in but with farm foods it's not really like that you're kind of met with pallets when you first walk in of like job lot deals um but I will say the prices are very reasonable you can get some really good little deals if you search for what you want and you've compared on to the shops lots of the sources were a really good price 
it's definitely worth a visit back i think there is some good deals if you pop in every now and then i'm not sure you could do your weekly shop there uh, with their offerings but it's definitely worth a visit back and yeah i was impressed with some of the deals that they had so i hope that you enjoyed seeing what it's like inside fine foods if you've never been to one and the kind of things that they have on offer thanks for watching this video take care enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you for a grocery haul at the end of the week bye